Hello and welcome back to S2 Tournaments. Today we have a matchup between Elysium and Demonic, two very strong teams, in winners round three. So we've progressed very far into the tournament. I also have sick plays with me co-casting, and see, so I want to know, what are you thinking for this game? Who's favourites and... Well, what are your I, thoughts? I'm not going to lie to you, after seeing the, the gameplay that Xeno did the other day with the, uh, the Demogorgon, I'm excited to see how he's going to play this right here. Uh, you know, D Demonic is a really good team, so I honestly, we're going to see how they're going to play against him. Oh, he did catch a survivor over on the right side and caught him out in the open. I think we're seeing a balanced landing coming in. Was, that was not enough. Oh, my. He used the tractor's height to get... Oh, my. That was so good. That was insane. Oh, my God. All right, you'll be seeing our first down here. This oh. is all the licking value early on in the game. A very strong add-on. Yes. And then she's using it to get that. That was an insane two tap. Perfect start, you'd say. Yeah, that was a really great start. The fact that he used that height advantage to get that hit was just insane. Very nice, right early now. Early on, though. Oh yeah, that was pretty quick. Now they're gonna need a decent chase to make it worth it. Otherwise, this could be a very early tunnel. Like, kind of caught in a bit of a dead zone as well. So, Slimer so not in the greatest position. Both two survivors actually stuck behind the tractor. Yep, we got Kate here trying to take a hit. Does was able to take the hit, which is really good. It looked like she almost missed it, and Ace was going to get another hit taken. What does Ace do here? This is not a very good uh, spot for him to be at. Ooh, Zeno trying to go for the fake shred here. Make him drop his pallet, and he does. Slamma holding on by a thread. Does gain some distance here. Might be able to do something at this main building here. Let's see how they continue going. Trying to stay alive as long as they can. Oh, nice fake. Zeno bites it too, right. as well. Oh, but oh. barely, barely gets hit by the shred here. Overall, though, it wasn't a bad chase. Definitely not enough to get a gen or two. But it's, it's in the right track for Demonic after that pretty rough start. Yes, I agree. And I'd very be interested to see if Zeno actually decides to camp or play extended. It seems like playing extended, but. To be fair, if he camps this out, he can get maybe even a death very early on in this game. Two gens popping. Very nice gen pressure, actually. I was not expecting to see that that fast, so... Clearly that chase by Slamo getting the work in. Yeah, the double double gen pop there. That means that they were putting in pressure, that which is really good, because if they weren't able to pop... The, oh, and we do we do see the four of the people coming in to try to stop that tunnel. Very nice here. This chase is huge. So if this, oh, he's going for deco, I think. Yeah, going for deco for the pain resonance. Deciding to leave the tunnel out. So a very nice play by Demonic. Basically making it so there won't be a 3v1 anytime soon. Gains a lot of distance there too from that little hill. Drop Shack Pallet instantly. We're seeing Killer Instant. Wow, the nice blind from deco as well too. Doesn't really stop Zeno, but you know does help out a little bit. Let's see how they continue to play here at Shack. Ooh, nice. I, Deco did not bite that. If he did, he would have got down by that shred. Very nice gameplay here. Uh, Deco dropped the pallet very early, but doing a good job of playing the Ooh. window. And again, gets it just in time. Deco, that's, this is an amazing chase. With the four other people, too, stopping the tunnel. Just very amazing gameplay here. Falls down on the pallet. I wonder if Zeno thinks there's anybody. No, he doesn't. Wow, very and no nice. One is there, but that does mean they're all probably on gents. That they've got the reset that uh, resets from FTP, but they've all been on gents for that entire chase, and it was a pretty long chase. So the gen pressure has got to be high, as we hear that one gen, probably around 50%, with Jogger not leaving it. And I think I heard some pressure on main building as well. So Juggernaut it's getting into some dangerous territory. He does. It is kind of a dead zone. And he does go down pretty quickly here. Not good for Demonic, but they still, like you said, they got all those survivors on the generators. We should be seeing some pop in here soon. Another stack of pain res. We have one left here. Yeah, and they got the unhook early to make up for that uh, quick down. See, that stealth not going to be doing anything. Lick and getting its value, and I think that could be a free hit even. I don't think they have this to make it to it, and they don't. So now Xeno trying to get things back in his favor and doing it well. Slamma's going to have to be Dude. careful here. He is on death hook, correct? Yes, that is true. And I think he's just got an edge map. Don't ha doesn't have the distance to make it to that pallet, I believe. So yeah, this will be the 3v1 now. And we'll see if they can get any gens for it, but... 
They do get Very quickly, Xeno's yeah. made some nice progress into this game, into Demonic's hands. Yes, and they got the quick reset too on Juggernaut. So all survivors are healed here. Let's see how they continue. Wait a second, is it when he holds up his shred, he's able to see the killer instinct by the portals, correct? Because that's what I'm seeing every time he does his shred. Holds up his shred. I, I think... I, I believe that's just a coincidence, but... Okay. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a coincidence, but I'm not 100% on it. Because every time he does it, see, the killer instinct pops up. I wonder maybe, if that's... Yeah, maybe it is. Okay, we got Deco here in the chase. Ooh, barely gets past it. Almost got hit by Xeno again, which is really good for them. Oh, does go for the fate. And he does win it here. We're going to go back to Shaq. Mm. However, Deco is not a pain res, so... There won't be too much value gained from this, but it gets mind gamed on the Shaq, so it's a relatively fast down. After that injure. Maybe go in basement as well. Yeah, because he can set a we'll portal be down here. Now. Yep, he can just yeah. set a portal here and do a quick teleport on one of those gins. Survivors need to be careful. See the third gen popping finally, and someone else on that gen in the corner. Yeah. Two of them popping, so... It can definitely swing either way from here. It's been a very competitive game, that's for sure. He juggernaut. Some, yeah, some more pressure on that main gen as well. Probably around 25%. They need to be careful. This is a dead zone. Oh, Juggernaut yeah. does miss the shred here, which is All really right, nice. Let's see what Xeno does yeah. there. There's been back. a couple times they've run into oh that God. dead zone. Look, and she's down oh, there at the basement. Yeah. Let's see how he plays this here. I think he's done. <laughs> Jump scaring them because there are no terror radius. I don't know if they knew Xeno was there. I didn't the top of the stairs. <laughs> they probably didn't. No. Oh, misses the shred, barely. That's huge. It really is. Yeah, so probably no snowball coming through from that unhook. Definitely. Deco's doing a nice job of past his cast, apparently. But... Oh, man, Still, that it's a pretty hard. bad situation. They... Oh, the DS! Okay, so this definitely going well. Oh my oh. god, Zeno just swings and, and Deco doesn't th didn't think he would. That is amazing. The last gen does pop for it though. This has been an entertaining game. A lot of things happening everywhere on both sides. Seven stage right now. Both survivors injured. So we do see Noah, so that's not going to make too much of a difference. Nope, just the haste, I guess, is the only thing that they're going to get from this. Yeah. Oh, we do see scratch marks though. Zeno can take this, you know. On Juggernaut. Oh, early. So not even a chase coming through. That means you might be able to cut off JD at one of the gates. We'll see right now. Yes! With the aura read. JD's there. Trying to stealth as well. Doesn't realize that Zeno, Zeno knows, knows exactly. Look, look how Zeno's playing. Oh, uh -huh. barely misses. It doesn't matter. It's going to be a 4K here. Set down anyway. 4K zero. A very nice end game. That was... I would have not have been surprised to see one of them go out there, but that fast catch on Juggernaut, not even a chase, just didn't allow anything to happen. Now 4k0, a very strong result going into this next set, my next game. And it's going to be a tough one for Demonic Skiller to match, certainly. Very nice gameplay here. Yeah, both sides pulling off some very entertaining things. Oh yeah, what's it? No bleed out as, as you know, we'll just be able to see the aura of the slug. Waiting for Delhi, I believe? Delhi is allowed, correct? Yes. Yeah, so just in case, waiting out for the Delhi. Do that. If the Delhi was not JD, I'd be interested to see who it was, because it wasn't in play. So that either means it was Juggernaut, who hasn't been hooked at all, but obviously hasn't played too aggressive either. Or it was Slammer in that first chase, which they wouldn't have even been able to support since it was so quick. But no, it, that was JD, and now it's, it's meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love the body block. <laughs> ah. 
Now finally the 4K0 is 100% secured. Unless you get stuck on a gen for many seconds. Not a bad game, honestly. That that first down was really quick, and they were able to come back mm. and you know stop it from being like a slugfest or anything like that. So I, you got to give it to Demonic okay. here. Very nice gameplay. Yeah, there, there was lots of swings in that game going to either side, but Zeno had the last swing in the end game clearly, and that's what secured the fantastic result. It is going to be 28 to 15 in Elysium's favor. All right, guys, we'll be right back as we get set up for the next one. Give me one second. All right, we are back with the second game of the first set. We got Deco playing as the Demogorgon against Elysium. And I'm honestly really excited to see how this game's going to go. The first score was 28 to 15 um, in Elysium's favor. So Deco, you know, just has to get a 4K before five gens. Well, if he gets a 4K at, like, you know, with all gens done, it'd be a tie. If he can get a 4K before that, it's going to be a win. And I'm, I'm here with my boy, Bread. How are we doing, man? I'm doing good. Thank you very much. And... Yeah, I'm excited to see this one. The 4K0 in the last game, I don't think it... I think it didn't represent Demonic's game as well, because seeing the 4K0, you'd think they didn't play that great. There were times in that game they looked on for a very good result. Just in the end game, of course, it swung in Zeno's favor, finally, so... I want to see if they're able to play well and get the good result, like they did not last game. I like how Deco just left that right there. They did pre-drop the pallet, but he leaves and goes for Pedro. Yeah. It's a nice free hit. But he's going towards the shack, so should be able to keep it on for a relative amount of time. Well, very nice dodge, actually. Could have ended it right there, but no. And the stun, not even the break. That's going to be a lot of distance. So, yeah, a nice early hit in this chase, but now it's not going too great. We'll just decommit onto Sile here. And another free hit. So, yeah, that's twice now that... What's it? That's twice now Elysium haven't pre-left and got tagged for it. Yeah, they're doing good at the very beginning here, but, you know, making sure that they're spreading up. And we haven't even got it down yet, which it's not looking too good, but we'll see how they continue to play in this here. Oh, we do see our first generator popping. Mm, there's just two survivors on the gen leaving it. And, of course, one of them is injured. So that's the one they'll be going for, Pedro. But yeah, they did a nice job of getting free. Another very nice dodge there from Pedro. Damn. But yeah, Deco doing a good job of getting free tags, just not committing to any of them. And then another insane dodge. But yeah, not committing to any of them, of course. Not getting any downs. And downs is how you make progress. And now Pedro is just really punishing Deco on this tile. Not getting anything to go. Let's finally get it. So first down, four gens up, but I would not be surprised to see one, maybe two of them popping. Oh, almost There's got the someone pallet Someone with a pallet save. Woo. Yeah. He could have got away with one there, sure. Yeah, barely, man. If it was there just a second earlier, we'd have saw a save, you know, and that wouldn't have been good at all. Yeah. Extended that early game even further than it had already been. Oh, we do see our first stack of Grim Embrace. No pain I think we just though. saw someone's flashlight beam off in the distance there. <laughs> I did not see that. <laughs> Deco trying to go for a mind game here. There's no pallet here. I don't know if he noticed that. Dino's yeah, being chased. Know, we... Dino this. Yep. I just got the pallet. I hear. I think I hear someone else here. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be Siley? A Siley? I can't say the name. Still high. Still high. Still high. Okay. And a nice play by Zeno there, just going edge map, giving Deco the free hit, but letting Silhai get away unharmed. And now we'll continue chase into the main building. And random mind game, it doesn't get it off. Very nice patience by Zeno on that check spot. And now this has been another while without much happening in Deco's favor. Yes, getting some injuries, but no downs, no hooks. And these gents have got to be getting close. Going down intensely on the pallet, so maybe someone's in the area. Oh, and there is. And someone is. 
Oh, and the blind too. <laughs> That, that's reset in his face. Interesting choice. But as you see, that's one gen remaining now. Those long chases really punishing for Deco. And Deco's got to pull off something insane here to get his wing on, you got to think. And Pedro is there to support. Deco not even giving a shit really about him. Now he goes for the hit to get Pedro out of the way. <laughs> yeah. It's a very interesting sequence there. Pedro's sticking around though. Oh my goodness, almost had it. It's nothing really going in Deco's favor in these chases. And uh, yeah, I guess Pedro is supporting as there would be no pain res if Pedro was the one to go down. But now Xeno finally does go down. Pedro's sticking around in the area. So, I'd be interested to know what the reason for that is, but we'll see it. I assume. Are we going to see it at Adrenaline play here? Maybe. That could be it. But nice down. Very long pot there. I guess yeah, the we time do, we, Oh, no, we don't. Zeno is still down. Yeah. Now he finally gets picked up. The, honestly, I'm not sure why Deco didn't go for Zeno there. Zeno would have been the fresh hook. But, to be fair, fresh hooks don't matter at this point. If they wanted to kill every single survivor without one getting out, which seems a very difficult task to do right now. But maybe, maybe. Doesn't get the hit to go again on that pounce. Now Zeno just wasting that little bit more time, slowing down the snowball that Deco is clearly going for here. Not enough time to get Sile picked up off the floor though. Pedro the third injured survivor, so if this is quickly, maybe Deco can build something. But finally, Silly gets picked up as Pedro goes down. Waits out the dead hard. A very nice play by Deco there. Obviously, seeing that hard multiple times. They're still committing for this snowball as Deco knows this is the only way they're going to win. Oh. Doesn't get the hit again. And Zeno gets picked up. Silly goes down. But just not able to gain any ground, really. As they're getting picked up at too fast a rate to build anything major. Looks like Zeno. Oh no, the body block coming in, but it's no Ed that they didn't even know about. And now, both of the survivors are in that area. Deco gets oh the down onto the thing, knows where Zeno is, might be able to do this actually. They do get Pedro up in time, but now Zeno. Stuck in this corner, but I thought Deco was going to go for the pick there. That would have confused me a lot. Deco needs to be and careful here because it can change in a matter of seconds. We see scratch marks. Oh my god. Oh, Zeno's trapped Zeno. in this corner. There's nothing they can do, really. There's a nice distance away from that tile, though, but I don't think we'll be able to pick anyone up. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. To be fair, the play might be right now for Zeno is just to keep this long enough to maybe force a bleed out, but Bowers finally go down. And as he secures the 4k zeros, that's a tie in the set. Yeah, it is. Two stages going into the end game. Oh my but the god. The actually works out for Deco. It's just an insane game, honestly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is, man. I was not expecting that. Me neither. But yeah, it seemed like Elysium were just having fun near the end of that one. But, clearly, it seems like you can't have fun in DVD without getting punished for it. As we see. And look, they had the door at three. Oh my goodness. Yeah, maybe... They might have gotten greedy in 99 that, you know, because... Deco really didn't ever go over there to pressure it, so... Oh, Zeno has the deliverance, oh, though. Let's, let's see what happens here. Oh, gets he picked pick up Pedro! Up. Oh. Oh my now goodness. Now this gets a bit dodgy. Yeah. He needs a fast down on, Pe on Zeno here. Yep, and then he's gonna Guess have to go back. Have to find Pedro, cut him off towards. Oh no, hey, we're gonna. We've got so much distance. And if the door's completely I 99. Think they, I think they get out. I think they get out. Oh, they do! They do! No, wait, oh. what did he. Why, why did he swing? He wouldn't have got both the downs. They were at the gate with it open. It wasn't going to happen. That's oh, 
Oh my I'm goodness. Up my I even updated the uh, score thinking that it's over <laughs> with, but it's not. They somehow oh, come back. Yeah, the deli just saving Elysium in the last second. Deco did such a good job. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Deco. You've got to feel bad for them. Yes, yeah, because that was supposed to be a tie, but now it's not. Yeah. And still, 8 stages is a respectable result, but, you know, after what could have been, I'm sure Deco is pretty annoyed right now. Yes. Well, Elysium taking the set one win, going now into set two. And if they win that set, it will be the 2-0 streak, but Demonic looking to force the tiebreaker, and we'll see if they can do it. Yeah, but we'll be right back with the next match. Uh, we are back in with set two, game one of this matchup between Demonic and Elysium. Juggernaut on Nurse on Bad Hand Preschool. So not one you see very often. We'll see how they adapt to this and sick. I, I want to know what you're thinking after that first set. Well, the first set, it was really close. I, we thought it was going to be a tie, but then Zeno comes in with the deliverance play, was able to get up uh, vert V1, right? And then they were able to take it back to where it wasn't a tie. Yeah. So now Demonic has to do really amazing here on this set or it's going to be a... Oh, wow. Nice prediction there. We do see a first hit Fair on enough. Pedro already, so let's see how they continue here. Yeah, I agree. And that it was in that first set, sorry, it was very closely contested, and I thought Demonic did a great job of keeping it that tight. But to the last second, in both games, in last second, it swung in Elysium's favor and got them the set win. So one or two things go in Demonic's favor. I think they can take this set, and it's been a very nice way of jogging already. Relatively fast down. And Badham's quite a big map, so I'm not sure what a good result would be expected right here. But I guess it's for Juggernaut to figure that out. Watching the nurse Things blink, like on a spectator, is so different. No, that's random, but all right, we're gonna see. We're gonna obviously gonna be seeing a tunnel here on Pedro. Yeah, it was a relatively fast unhook. The timer hadn't gone too far. That's a very fast down as well, so second stage pretty early on in this game. So, it's definitely going well for- Oh! I spoke too soon, DS on Pedro. We'll see how much of an impact that makes, and it doesn't. Oh, not Juggernaut going down quickly once again, the dead horde. Too early. Did it on the first blink. It but it got that a little bit of extra time. Yeah, a little bit. If he would've got that dead horde, that would've been insane, because he'd've probably went downstairs. Yeah. Uh We see our first generator pop in here. They take a tag for it though, so... Nice job by Juggernaut to get over there it almost instantly and not give that gen up completely for free. And now at the second gen popping... But... It's still definitely playable for Juggernaut as I'm not sure how much pressure Elysium will have elsewhere. And if they do decide to camp Pedro, it definitely could be playable. And it seems like there's somewhat of a 3-gen on that house gen, like on either side as well. So maybe Juggernaut can play into that. Now only on the school side, of course, with the third gen finally popping. Dino coming in for the unhook here. Let's see. Trying to body block him, but there's more than enough time for him to get the unhook here. Very nice body blocking, though. Not long enough. Just about not long enough. That was close. That just goes some decent distance, but I don't think... Ooh, nice. Oh, a very nice double back. And Juggernaut gets sent in the complete opposite direction. Pedro with a lot of distance now. Extending this tunnel out. Good. Nice man. And the prediction doesn't land. And Zeno's picked up. Just like that, in a matter of 30 seconds, Elysium oh. in a very strong spot. Oh, SB wow. as well. I think Juggernaut made a bad decision because he had two. He only had one blink and was trying to predict the blink and wasn't able yeah. to. So like he that yeah. And then now Pedro's gone and Zeno was mm. picked up and that's just a little bit of wasted time there. Yeah, let's get the pain resonance to make it a little bit nicer on him. But still, was very greedy or very ambitious. 
I'd say, going for that prediction, and it didn't pay off and was very punishing. But now finds Pedro and gets, doesn't get the down. A very nice time, dead hard. Oh, wow, that was nice. Yeah. Oh, that, that was nice as well. A very nice prediction on, straight onto Pedro. And now that will be the death. Zeno with the deli, of course, but still. That is very nice for Juggernaut, as I imagine Elysium were looking to protect Pedro and play kind of passive. But now, it's a 3v1, two gens remaining. And it's a 2-2 two two split on the upper and bottom side of the map. So not a bad gen split for Elysium. But still, definitely playable on either side. Not able to get the pop off though, <laughs> Blast Man comes through. Down to one gen as well. So this next couple minutes are very big. And Dragon is not able to find anyone right now. And if oh, this carries on for too long. Yeah, I think someone was around the back there. Yeah, yeah. V1. This is a very important chase, as V1 is a pain res. And it needs to get the 3v1 started before it ends. Yep, we see the reset on Xeno now, so now survivors are going to be pushing towards generators. Yeah. I'm sure Juggernaut's not too mad to see the reset coming through, as that means they weren't just stacking a gen the whole time. And most likely, the gen pressure is at zero, or it's only now just building. Ooh. A very nice blink. It's gone just on the end of that one. Ooh. And Silhay here pressuring it with... Does he have a flashlight or a cracker or something? I think it's a flashlight. Either way, he gets the tag. And that's a very interesting play. Is, in my opinion, I, I would have expected Silhe and Zeno to be stacking a gen for that chase, but... Seemingly not, and they take the hit for it, and the less gen pressure, of course. Now the pain res comes through. Yeah, and Silhe needs to be careful here, because he is a pain res mm. and Grim Embrace, so... We would see, you know... Yeah. Yeah, and then with the pop goes the weasel, like... If he goes down here, that's not going to be good for the survivors. Yeah. you got to think, if Silhe goes down, then... This is swung insanely in Juggernaut's favor. Oh, Which we, we do it. hear, Silhe. I don't know if that's down... It is around the back. Oh. On this tiny pallet. Get down, it's instantly... So they're not able to win the 50-50. And now... Xeno very pressured. As... Will just be bowling over 2v1. No gem pressure happening at all right now. And with the German brace comes through, that gives Juggernaut like 60 seconds, I believe, to go and hunt V1 down. Oh, the reset does come through just before Juggernaut makes it over, though. Ignore Xeno, is going. Does not ignore Xeno, actually. Now doubling back, doesn't want to give the unhook for free. But I don't know, might have given Xeno too much distance. I think they might get the unhook for free anyway. That extension off of the hook not being too great. And renewal as well. Juggernaut going to be committing for Silhe wanting to stop the renewal from proccing. So we'll need something very quick to do that. Silhe's got a lot of distance though. But they don't get it. That would have to have been so close for the renewal to being procced. Wow. Yeah. Big plays from Juggernaut when it matters in this 3v1. And things are definitely going well for Juggernaut, getting a nice early tunnel out. And now the Legion just haven't really been able to build anything on the gens with these fast downs. Oh, unlucky on that blink there. The unhook comes through as Juggernaut is extended. And gets stopped on the blink again. It's getting absorbed by the bushes there. But now Juggernaut going back to the house trying to catch V1 off guard again. But V1 not found. Doesn't seem like he went downstairs so. Doing a good job of stealth in wherever they are. And now if things go going like this Silly gets reset of course. Now, if this carries on for another couple minutes, you've got to think this will start going back into Elysium's favor. Yeah. Just playing slow, playing safe. 
I have but, no idea what he, Zeno is uh, doing. Yeah, Zeno's just standing around, gets hit for it. Oh, Not very good. nice play by Zeno on the stairs, though. You know, it's pretty jank going up and down as Nurse and Zeno is just punishing that. Ooh, almost got it, but unfortunately couldn't. Yeah. Zeno's wasting a lot of time here. They're definitely probably doubling up on a gen. Mm. Let's see. Even if they're so they can only solo this one. So, V1 is still on it, and you hear it's got a lot of pressure on it. And a very nice relief again by V1. Last man as well. I mean, if you're joking up right now, sick, what have you what are you thinking? I, I'm I'm gonna be very nervous, I'm not gonna lie to you, because you know that you know that one of the survivors is, is lurking around this area waiting for you to leave, right? And then if and if if you predict it wrong and they leave and go to another gen, they could be doubling up. But we do see scratch marks here. Oh it's V1. It does catch V1 leaving, yeah. Oh my goodness, let's see how they keep playing this. Needs a fast chase though. Takes him down to basement. Ooh. I think Juggernaut's gonna leave knowing that they're probably doubling down on a gen. That's why V1 went to the basement. Yeah, definitely. V1 going to basement healthy probably means that that gen is very high, whichever one it is. So. All right. Well, that one hasn't got any more progression, so that must yeah. mean that they're doubling up on a gen. Must be one of these two. It's gonna be close. Oh, and they do finish it. Oh. Just before Juggernaut gets there, and not able to cut either of them off. Nope. So now it's seven stages going into this end game. Like you said, it's definitely Dervy territory, but doesn't get the hit on Silho. Looks cold in the. Ki that just confused me a lot. A, a lot of weird things, but gets the hit on Silho. <laughs> Finally. And again, doesn't take the down. It's always sitting in front of him. Now Silho finally goes down. And I believe that will secure nine stages for Juggernaut. Which, no, no, just eight stages, my apologies, still I was Death Hook. Which, to be fair, on this massive map, I don't think it's too bad a result, but... Again, it's going to be pretty competitive in that second game. Yes. Challenge for both teams. Yep, we will be right back as we set up for the next match. We are back in with set two, game two of this matchup between Elysium and Demonic. Demonic have a ninth stage lose con. So this match, it determines whether it goes tiebreaker or the Elysium win. And it can definitely go either way. So I'm very excited to see what happens. Pedro on the nurse. And once again, as we see, it's the bad and preschool, a very large map for nurse. So although nine stages is usually expected on Nurse, it could be more difficult than some may think. So yeah, I'm definitely to see how it goes. And sick, do you do you think Demonic can do it? I think they can. I really do. They came back from the demo set when they got a quick down. Um, they played really well as the Nurse here. Let's so just see how they do in the beginning of this. You know, like this first chase is really important. Right now, it's looking like Ace is doing a good job. Slamma coming in. Mm. Oh my goodness, Pedro could just must have four ears to hear that. I don't know how he did, but he did. Very good. Yeah, hearing Slammer through the wall again, that pretty falls down. And it's on the gen with pressure. So, that's going to be a lot of the early game kind of minimized for Demonic. As it, it wasn't a bad first chase for Nerds, but obviously that being right on the hook. I and mean, right on the gen. It's not ideal at all. And now Deco is kind of trapped in this area. Does go down fast as well. Oh no. A nice fast on hook, but Yeah, this is definitely looking good for Pedro. Yeah, and as you can tell, Pedro does have agitation, so he's able to get the hooks that put him where they need to to get value out of, you know, pain res. Mm. Wow, we see scratch marks here. That's not good. Yeah. So it's the same as that first, it's given the instant chase. Giving Pedro no downtime, really, for the one to capitalize on. Does get away with those two blinks, so... A decent start to this chase. But they're gonna need something long here. 
to make it worthwhile. Let's see what we get here. We do see a hit. Mm. See how Jugger does this. Not, not in a good spot either. Yeah, I mean, it does have some things to mind game around on this edge map area. And now obviously oh. as at the shack, but doesn't make it to the pallet. Oh, barely, man. Pedro playing very impressively yeah. right now. Not allowing no gins to be done yet. We're about to have three hooks now. Mm. To be fair to Demonic, that's the third painter is already. And there hasn't been much gem pressure. So if things do start to swing in Demonic's favor, they're not gonna have to deal with painters at all, really, so Right. It's it's a slight positive out of what's been a pretty negative start. I get what you, you mean, yeah. Wow, very good. Wow, that was just good game awareness from Pedro here. Didn't even see the mm. ace. Nice. Again, another very fast chase. They haven't even got the unhook yet. And going for a firecracker save that doesn't pay off. Almost does, though. Almost got it. That would have been very insane. Almost, yeah. But it's got to be a very punishing thing to go for, as now we know where all survivors are, because there's two going for the unhook, one unhook, obviously, and the other is just going for the firecracker save. Which means no generators. Right. And five gens remaining. This is not good, because you know. Wincon's nine, right? And we're already at four stages. Yeah. It's got to have a fast turnaround for Demonic to get us anything here. And some stealth would definitely help. So, Pedro searching around the edge map, not finding anyone. Do see the reset? Listen in to see if you can hear any survivors, you know, creeping around. Hmm. Pedro a... may just camp this hook, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It wouldn't be a bad decision here to camp the hook. Just to get a 1k at four, I mean, five gens. Yeah. But we We're going eight. in for the trade. Because you, you can't let someone die at five gens, realistically. Just about gets it with the body block. My goodness. We see one generator pop in. That's a huge pop, actually. Because this is about to be the fourth pain risk stack. So. If that was before the gen pop, then they'd still be at five gens. But now, that painter has probably didn't do too much. But now, this group embrace is huge. You got to think. Yeah, because uh, yeah, that downtime just gives Pedro all the time in the world just to look around and even you know mm. try to find somebody. And if he doesn't, it doesn't matter. There's no gen progression being made. Yeah, and the money they need to stealth well here, otherwise. It's just three hooks and injures for Pedro. Yeah, we got they don't capitalize on him extending from the hook. JD's still up there. Yeah, and we got five stages now. Just need five more to secure this win here. See the reset on Slamma coming in. Mm. Definitely some good stealth by Demonic. Grimbrace now out, and of course Pedro not finding anyone. But also didn't get the unhook while Pedro wasn't really protecting it, so... Oh, we're gonna see a second stage here. Oh yeah. no, we see a deliverance! Oh, Ellie. Wow, very nice. Gonna waste some time here and doesn't allow the second stage to come in. This is, you know, yeah, this is huge. huge. Yes, it is for them. Let's see how long JD can make this chase go on for. Hmm. It's so very well played by Demonic in that grow embrace. As obviously the time wasted on hook didn't mean anything to the Delhi, and then Pedro found no one, so. Yeah, because that meant all survivors. They were, they were, you know, set up for their gins. Let's see how this yeah. goes on. The Monic definitely more of that. Just playing slow, not giving Pedro any chases for free. No tags. And... It's still gonna take a lot to do it. But... To be fair now, like I said, Pedro does only have one perk to work with. And that's Agitation. Which doesn't slow the game down at all, really. So... Like I said, it's a small positive out of a pretty bad start. But it's definitely something. Yeah, that solo gym being worked on. We see another mm. generator pop in here. Yeah, this is exactly what Demonic need. They're getting this gen high. Pedro's coming over there, but they've already left and not giving him anything for free. Which oh. is exactly what they need to be doing. And now... Oh my goodness. Demonic doing yes. a really good job after that. Very bad early game, actually. 
Yeah, and then they come in with the four of the people to stop the tunnel out. So, that, you know, this yeah. is going to be even harder for Pedro to secure a kill here and make it a 1v3. Oh, we do hear scratch marks. I mean, see scratch marks. But we heard her footsteps, so the survivors are right around the corner. Nico, it is. Yep. Oh, barely missed. Oh, Very barely. nice. Very nice use of the edge map from Deco. And Deco's not a bad chase at this point. It's not a death hook survivor, which is the ones you need to stay low and just not die. Otherwise, oh, this game can change very quickly. Almost got the dead heart off. If that, if he would have, that would have been insane value for the team here. Mm. Wow. Now seven stages. That gen does pop just before Pedro gets there. I mean, it's definitely still doable, but it's gonna be, gonna hard. be difficult. Yeah. Yeah, because all he needs is what two more stages, you said. Um, yes, nine stages is the wink on, so two more, and Pedro's got it. Oh my goodness, what a good blink! Yeah, and there's one of them. Yep, we're gonna be at eight Did stages. You... Yeah, Demonic have done a very nice job of that end game though. So fair play to it, fair play to them, because it was looking rough. And the end game now, and Pedro on eight stages. If they go down, that it will be the win for Pedro. But still, maybe. Ooh. But no, Juggernaut does go down in that edge map area. And that does secure the ninth stage if they get the hook off. Which they will. I mean, they played really well. This was a very close set here. Yeah. You know, like, we had the Deliverance play that came in. You know, that's uh, just honestly amazing gameplay. Yeah, I mean, and Elysium was such a great team, as everyone knows. And to have both sets be this close... The Mollegum has done a really good job to do that, but obviously, Elysium will lose him. Even in close games, their skill is going to shine through and they're going to do whatever they can to take the win. They're trying to come for like the on hook. Are they? Yeah, they seem like they are. But it won't matter though, right? Or will it? It, it won't matter, but I don't believe it matters, but. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're right. But they got the. Yeah. Yep. They're just playing for pride at this point, but. It doesn't seem like it's going to work out. Yeah, now two of them are down. Pedro, one in the 4k. Seems like, oh no, just picking up. Or not picking up. Does want the 4k. Wants to end it on a high note. Because yeah, all survivors now are dead hook. But he'll get at least a 3k yeah. here. Oh, I think. I, we see scratch marks. Hmm. Yeah, that's it's now Deco the only one up. And Deco can probably go out, but they've got the X gate open, you'd imagine. I, I, I don't see how Deco won't be escaping, but. Still, you got to respect Demonic, they, they lost the game, but still wanted to continue the game out, try get a better result. Oh, yeah, and at minimum, it's practice. Yeah. I agree. And I believe this means Elysium going on to round four in the winners bracket and Dominic down to losers round four as well. Yep. Correct? Yes, correct. Very so, good games here. Uh do you have anything mm. to end it off with, Bread? Uh it's very tightly contested, very well played by both teams and yeah, I'm excited to see them both play again in this tournament. Very thankful for the loser bracket because Dominic showed their quality in this game. And I'm glad we get to see more of that quality in the future. Yep, I appreciate And of course with Elysium. Yep, we appreciate everybody that's here and we will see you guys in the next one.